In this video, I'm going to talk about production sound. This is the audio that you record on the set while you're actually filming. So it includes dialogue, room tone, and any sort of wild sound effects that you can record on the set. Because your job as a sound recorder is to get the best quality audio on set so that you have less work to do in post-production. And a lot of people will say, oh, we'll just fix it in post. Really, one minute of work on the set can save you 20 minutes or more in the studio. And so that saves time on production and also money. There are different types of sounds that you can record on the set. There are sync sounds and there are wild sounds. So your sync sounds will be your dialogue tracks or any sort of actual sounds that you'll need to sync up with the picture. Your wild sounds could be your room tone, it could be a hard sound effect that you need to record on set because you have a specific object or say just a car door. If you can get it right on set, that gives people in post-production freedom to either use that sound or they can create their own. So let's talk about the gear that you'll need to record audio on set. So this is a common microphone used on a film set. It's a shotgun mic, and it means it'll capture right in front of it and reject a lot of the sounds around it. So this is really good when you have a noisy set or just need to be able to record something from far away. This is a boom pole, and what you're going to use it for is you're going to attach the mic in the shock mount, and this is what you see people holding over their heads and uh, recording the dialogue on the set. Another type of microphone is a lavalier mic. And this is a tiny microphone that you can hide in an actor or actress's clothing. And it's good for wide shots where you need to still get the dialogue. So if you have what's called a single system setup, that means you're recording the audio straight into your camera. So everything's automatically in sync. Another thing you can do is get a digital recorder that is separate. This is called a double system. So to sync it up in post, you'll need a slate. And that's the little clapper at the beginning of a scene that allows you to line up the frame where it claps to the actual sound. I'll include a link below with some affordable gear to get you started in production audio. One thing that's often overlooked when you're doing production audio is the location itself. So say you're working with a director and you're scouting a location. The director very often is looking for that perfect shot, that perfect scenery, but it's also important to consider the sound on the set. So you might have a, a beautiful shot and there's an airfield right next door. And so you always have airplanes in and out. And that'll be a problem when you're recording your dialogue. So it's very important to consider what kind of extraneous sounds are near your set, what the room acoustics are. Are you in a small room? Are you in a large garage? Because this will affect your production audio. A couple things to consider when you're recording your production sound is consider audio perspective and audio continuity. The sound of dialogue in a close-up shot will sound different than dialogue in a wide shot with the actors and actresses far away. You want to be intentional about the audio in those scenes. Audio continuity is another thing to pay attention to. Between different takes, you can have shifts in ambience. You might have to change the position of your microphone based on this new camera angle. And so because of that, your audio will sound different from take to take. So you really want to be careful of that. So if I was in dialogue with someone and the shot goes from a close-up of me to a two shot of both of us talking, you want to be very careful about the changes in audio. My, my dialogue should probably sound the same from my shot that's close up to the two shot. If it sounds different, that could cause the listener to focus on the change in perspective rather than what I'm actually saying. As a sound recorder, you want to capture the audio on set that best conveys the story. That's really what it's all about. So capturing good, clean dialogue really goes a long way and reduces the need for ADR, additional sound effects and noise reduction later on.